Once again, we're back. I go by the corporate fiction of City Boy, also known as City Boy, and I own and manage City Boys R Us. Uh, you can go to cityboysrus.com and check out the website based here in the Atlanta area uh, for appliance repair services. So if you're still stay in tune with these videos and you have some type of some type of technical skill and you're looking to evolve into working for yourself and becoming financially free here we go first portion of content we talked about your why which is personal to you the second portion of content was your financial statement now that you've done your inventory on your financial statement you probably realize that you have a negative net worth you have no money to the game You've basically been working all your life and financially you're a slave. You have nothing to show for it but a bunch of liability. Okay, so now we're going to get into the third portion of content, which is pay yourself first. And I'm going to get straight to the point with this process. Take this formula and implement it into your life. And uh, I'll see you real shortly in the world of entrepreneurship. So we're going to deal with the person that's salary first. Let's say you make $75,000 a year. Okay, what you're going to do, it's 52 weeks in a year. So we're going to assume that you have two weeks vacation, okay? So we're going to say that person that makes an annual amount of $75,000, we are going to divide that by 50 weeks, okay? That means that to make $75,000 a year, you make $1,500 a week, okay? And we're going to divide that by the standard working hours in a week, which would be 40, okay? So if you made $75,000 a year, and you divided that by 50 weeks, because we're assuming you have two weeks vacation. That's going to give you 1500 Then you divide that by a standard 40-hour work week. That means that you make $37.50 an hour. Okay, you're going to pay yourself one hour a day. The first hour you go to work is your hour. Set your clock. When you step in the office, that first hour, you remind yourself, I just paid myself first. Okay, so what does that look like at the end of a week? Times that by five, you got $187.50 to your name. When you get that paycheck, you go to your bank and you open up a savings account. Period. End of discussion. You pay yourself first. Then you worry about going around the Monopoly board and making sure Georgia Power or your light bill, your water bill, your rent, everybody else, everything comes secondary to me. We're going to do a 180 on the concept when it comes to money. The way we've been operating in the normal world, everybody wants to make sure that AT&T and Comcast, everybody else gets paid first but you. Now we're flipping that. You're going to deposit that $187.50 every week. Okay. If you get paid every two weeks, you take that $35.50 times it by 10. $375 if you get paid every two weeks goes straight to a savings account before you pay anything else. It goes straight into your savings account. Figure out how you pay everybody else later. That's not the important part. The important point is you got to get in, you got to get good habits with money. All right, so let's take that person that's making an hourly rate or hourly wage. It's easy. It's, it's already uh, spelled out for you. Let's say you're making $15 an hour. You multiply that by five days, that's $75 at the end of the week. $75, you go straight to the bank and you open up a savings account and you put that $75 in there. At the end of a month's time, you have $300 to your name. Okay? That man is making $75,000 a year. He takes that $37.50. In a week's time, he's got that $187.50. $187 times that by four in a month's time he's got seven hundred and fifty dollars to his name now the goal is to get to a thousand dollars we want to get a thousand dollars in a savings account before we take the next step into entrepreneurship okay now the only other thing I want to leave you with um, to show that I walk it like I talk it back in 2010 I became debt free OK, on that day, I paid one thousand six hundred eighty three dollars and forty one cent to Capital One. OK. On that same date, I gave United States Treasury one thousand two hundred thirty nine dollars and fifty six cent. Also owed the state of Georgia. 
$440, which they got a check on the same date, August 2nd, 2010. And I wrote another check on August 2nd, 2010 to the United States Treasury for $234.75. So I too was in debt, but if I can do it, you can do it. So that'll debunk a lot of the myths and theories about, well, I can't do it. I just showed you, I did it. I was making an hourly wage. Uh, I applied this concept. It gets better as you go along, but that's just the first part of it. Um, you have to pay yourself one hour a day. And if your salary, take whatever you make for salary, divide it by 50, okay? And then divide it by 40, okay? And then that's going to give you your hourly wage. If you get paid every two weeks, no problem. You take that 75000 instead of dividing it by 50 weeks, divide it by 25. Divided by 80, you come up with the same number. The math doesn't change. What we're doing is we're changing behavior, okay? And we're changing behavior because in the world of entrepreneurship, it's not how much money you make, it's how much money you keep. So before we start to get into entrepreneurship, you have to get your personal house in order, okay? You have to take control of money, all right? There's a lot of videos out there about, you know, I can, you know, they only focus on the income side. You know, I can get you to make hundred thousand dollars, two fifty, whatever have you, but they don't, they don't explain the whole financial statement. You know, what's the expenses? What's the liabilities? Uh, the way that I did it, uh, I played the game for keeps. Uh, got myself debt free and uh, made it where there's no liabilities, and we only deal with with, with expenses and uh, income and savings. Uh, and I got this from people who have money. Uh, I'm going to leave you with DaveRamsey.com, Financial Peace University. Uh, that's also one of the avenues that I took and incorporated a lot of his principles. Uh, David Bosch uh, with the Latte Factor. I also uh, incorporated his principles from that CD set uh, that I purchased. Uh, and RichDad.com. Uh, I have the board game, and you can also go to richdad.com, and you can log on for free, and you can play that same cash flow one-on-one board game and see if you can get out of the rat race. Uh, I hope there's no legal ramifications from this. I'm not doing any false advertising. I'm just sharing my experience with the world. Hopefully, there's somebody out there that's sick and tired of being sick and tired. They have their why. They've done their financial inventory, i.e. financial statement. They're ready to make a change. I just gave you the formula on how to get the ball rolling and to change your financial situation. Once again, this is City Boys signing out here in Atlanta, Georgia. CityBoysRUS.com. Walk it like I talk it. See y'all next week.